Hey, love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome into my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family. Just thank you so much for just taking the time out, you know, seeing the things that we truly need to see, paying attention to the signs that are sent towards us and gravitating towards us and being able to connect in ways that we never have been able to before. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell at the bottom so you know when your girl's about to upload her next video. Also, if you are comfortable enough, I would love for you to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. So you can drop me a couple of lines, even if it's about the positive feedback or the content of my video. Or you're just up telling me about your impact of gift and how it impacted your life and head you towards a positive direction. Also, if you know, feel that the video has been very informative to you or just gave you some good vibes that you would love to share with a loved one, family, or friend, you know, please go ahead and do so, especially if they're going through some really bad times right now or dark, dark moments and, you know, they need validation or confirmation towards their journey. Or you, you can give me a thumbs up, like, and also share on the social media favorites, wherever you see fit. And thank you once again for the love and support that you have been giving me. And I truly appreciate it. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. Today, I'm listening to um, Enhanced Self-Love Healing Music, 528 Hertz Positive Energy Cleanse and ancient frequency music and i will post that link in the description box below it's like very peaceful it's like something you would listen to if you're having like a bubble bath and candles and stuff puts you to sleep but anyways my video today is about twin flame 101 hey Okas, never said second guess the power that comes from within we never should you know there's times that we go through things and it can be very stressful. You know, we go in and out of dark times. You know, who doesn't? You know, you can have a few days that, you know, everything's great. You know, but then there's days that it's just hard. Like, you don't want to get out of the bed in the morning. You don't want to talk to anybody. You just don't feel like being bothered. You know, and then there, it, it, you know, that, that cloud of judgment towards yourself. That self-doubt comes in. You know, I used to do that. I was just like, do I got what it takes to do what I need to do? Do I have what it takes to help others? you know, with issues that we, you know, all empaths struggle with on a daily basis, you know, trying to block our energy from people, being able to, you know, block ourselves from receiving so much energy, dealing with so many different things that average people do not have to deal with. And it's just like with us being Hayokas, hey, oh Jesus, that's just a whole tour of a duty by itself. And I'm not talking about the daggone video game, but it makes you feel like you in one of those games. But it, it's just like, you need to be sure of yourself you have to have that self-confidence in yourself you know we have been going through a lot of abuse as in children or you have been through current abuse like with your spouses or with your family you know where it makes you doubt yourself you know people can instill stuff into you so much and so long then you start believing it yourself you know i used to i never really had um good compliments growing up you know if I did it's very seldom if I did I can probably count on one hand <laughs> as a child even though I accomplished so many things I never had nobody you know cheer me on like I tell my children you know you can do anything you want just post your mind to it if this is something that you want I'm gonna try to support you as much as I can but you have to be able to do you know work that drive on yourself you know instill that you know I instill that in my kids because I didn't have that growing up you know I tell my kids you can do anything you want if you want to be president work on work on it you know you can do anything you want to you know so you have to be able to never second guess the power that comes from within you know it really takes us a dark moment to really understand where strength come from pain will make you find that strength within yourself because if you know if that ain't enough to knock you knock you you know silly and say hold up wait a minute i'm tired of going through this you know we go through some really tragic you know, uh, spiritual awakenings to where it opens up a whole new can of worms because this is not a life that you're used to. You know, it will take you through some trauma for you to have to look at life and world and people all differently. You know, it's like there's sometimes on my journey, I still feel like uh, this is not real. You know, my family didn't do this to me. You know, uh, this must be a nightmare that I can't wake up from. There's sometimes I, you know, it doesn't feel like this is real. 
But then when I can look at the situations I'm in, look at the videos that I make every day, I love what I do. Even though the things has really brought me to a dark place, I have strength that I never knew I would be able to have within myself. I have that willpower to not give up. Even though there's days I have to take a rest. Y'all see that I'm not, you know, I don't do videos every day. You know, if, if it's pushed that I need to do it, you know, I ask the universe, do you need me to go out on a message or do you need me to sit down for a minute? Or I ask permission, is it okay if I just rest? Because I did a lot, you know, and I, you know, I do what I got to do when I got to do it. Because before I used to push myself and push myself and push myself, you know, because I felt like I was running a race. I don't need to run a race. You know, you should never rush. You should never rush growth. You can't. You know, no matter, oh, I, I would have been there by now if I would have did this. No, everything happens in divine timing. You have to go through situations. You got to get through situations. Go back and forth through that dark place for you to be able to get the information and the lessons that those situations were teaching you. So it's just a lot of times you can go through things and self-doubt yourself. Like, do I, can I really do this? Hell yeah, you can. Yes, you can. You can do it. Anything you can do. You can put your mind to it. No matter what anybody tries to tell you, if they're not uplifting you, don't listen to them. If you know you're pushing out something in a positive sense, you know, you should never, you know, uh, use your integrity to get where you need to get, you know, like, you know, cut yourself short, you know, doing, you know, things that help you get ahead. You know how certain people do certain things just to get ahead instead of doing it the right way the right way you know those are the things you need to do being able to believe in yourself at every level every aspect saying yeah i was put in a you know a messed up situation yes i was abused you know yes i was belittled yes i was disrespected but never again you know you, you know what you want to tolerate you know what you're not going to tolerate you know what you're going to get tired of tolerating if you're in a situation and you're tired of going through the things you're going through you're going to fix it you're going to fix it. You're going to sit to yourself and say, what do I need to do to get to the next level? What do I need to do to get myself out of this situation? Because there's some people there, you know, they're comfortable being miserable. Me? Heck no. I don't like being miserable. Because <laughs> I've been miserable my whole daggone life. But now since I'm pushing out positivity, I mean, I, I feel growth every day. You know, I, I feel wisdom every day. It's like, I, what else can I teach myself? Or I'm learning different things. Y'all send me different things like, hey, Rosalind, look at this. You know, make me think of you when I, I saw this. And I'm like, oh, thanks. You know, because there's so many things that's been sent to me. I'm still trying to catch up. You know, on, on the lines of me still getting information, downloads and stuff that they need me to go ahead and tell y'all about. But there, you know, we're going through an intense boot camp, trial and error, you know, so you're going to have questions all to the point where you're going to second guess yourself. You're going to doubt certain things. You need to go by your instincts. Trust that you will do things. But you know what? We do make mistakes. We do have setbacks. We do have failures. But if you know you're willing to get up the next day and try it all again, that's all that matters. You know, we learn from our mistakes. We learn from our setbacks. You know, there is no successful person out in this world that has not had a setback in their life. Them setbacks is what made them successful in the first place. So you have to keep learning. You know, you got to crawl before you walk. And that's why, you know, I love what I do. You know, it might be 30, you know, 30 views here or 200K here, you know, but I'm happy about that because every, there's always somebody catching a lesson. There's always something I'm helping somebody else with that they may not have been able to see for themselves. You know, some people, if you, you know, they come up to me, you know, Rosalind, I'm going through this and this and that. I'm trying to figure out where am I at in my life. You know, I try to help out as much as I can. You know, I'm still learning myself, you know, but I keep it real. You know, there's times that, you know, you have to be able to sit back and allow yourself to do some of the work. Like I tell anybody, you know, I'll help you, but you got to be willing to help yourself too. Don't expect change if you ain't willing to be the change to get the change. You know, you can't sit there on your, on your butt and just wait for things to change for you if you're not putting in no work about it. You know, you can't see progress and change if you're sitting there twiddling your thumbs, waiting for everybody to do your work for you. Ain't gonna it's not going to happen that way. You know, you can pray about it, do whatever, but the universe is not going to put that in your lap if they don't see you doing something about it. So they're like, well, I guess they're waiting for us to do it, so we're going to be just sitting here just like they are. You know, so you have to be able to put that work in for yourself. No, you're going to get out of that dark place. Yeah, it might seem like hellish right now, like feeling like every day you wake up is like a nightmare that you're you're in and you can't wake up from that's fine 
But while you in that hell, you're going to be finding out ways to like, look, when you get tired of dealing with stuff like that, that's when you change. You know, you can't, you know, you can't wait and sit for change to just to happen. You have to improve yourself. You have to trust in the universe, trust in God, knowing that they're not going to allow you to go through nothing more that you cannot handle. Yes, there's a time of grief. Yes, there's a time where we live and love. We lose. We, you know, we get separated from people. You know, people pass away. Things like this happen. It's a circle of life. And it's some hard stuff, you know, to go through. But it's just like, you know, I learn and I grow every day. You know, I just feel like, you know, there's times I'll be wanting to take a break. And next, you know, all these contests will start popping up in my head. And I just write them down. I'm like, you know what? Let me go ahead and make these videos. I'm tired, but I'm going to go ahead and do them anyway. You know, so when I go ahead and do that, I ask, you know, universe, is this good? <laughs> Can I sit down now? <laughs> Can I get that break? Oh, yeah, go ahead. All right, cool. Or they'll make me sit down. They'll take my voice. Or they'll have me up in a, in a situation where they already know I'm not going to project some type of crazy energy off to y'all. Because y'all already know I could be sitting up here doing this and next thing you know, light will flash straight through the screen. I got too much crazy energy on me. So it's just the fact that if I know I'm all out of whack, I don't do videos. I don't, because I don't like projecting that type of energy towards anybody. That's, that's some selfish stuff and I ain't on that. I don't on that. So it's just like when you're going through these things, never underestimate the power you have from within. You know, you need to wake that warrior up that is thriving to get out. This, you know, the eye of the tiger, like that song. You got that tiger or lion that's in, in, in you that, you know, is going to get to that point where, you know, if you that I'm the type of person, you only can press me in the corner so long before I lash out. You know, it's like now... You know, I walk away from things. I used to go clap back real quick. Now it's just like, you know what, am I putting my energy in something ignorant? I'm not about to do that. You know, if somebody want to second guess me or question me or have questions, no, I'm not here to convince you about nothing, boo-boo. You know, either you going to know or you going to not know. You know, I can't explain something to you if you only have your own level of, you know, when you only understand what you want to understand, you only they got their only level of perception what they're going to think. You can tell them one thing and they're still going to think another anyway, so what's the point? You know, you do what you do. Your words and your character speak for itself. So you keep thriving. You keep surviving. You keep pushing. Push out that, you know, that positive and, you know that positive vibe that you have within yourself know that you know there, there are going to be some good days there are going to be some bad days but what's going to count are you going to give up on it because if you give up on it nothing, nothing come easy so and if it comes too easy it's not going to last so if you know you're working hard for something towards your life trust and believe eventually you will get you will start seeing signs around you like hey you're doing a good job hey congratulations you'll even hear your spirit guys send you validation for stuff like that and pay attention you know because they do speak to you every day so i hope you were able to resonate with the content of this video drop me a line you know so i can go ahead and give you a post notification shout out you know give me a thumbs up share the video like and subscribe you know and you know we, we'll go ahead and conversate the end so my post notification shout out goes to drastic mark beat them back and norman smith and let me see who else I'm going to go ahead. And Jonas Cullum, much love to you. Send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. Know you are truly blessed, highly favored, forever loved, and knowing there's always somebody out there praying for your better days. So much love to you. Send out as much love and positivity and uplifting, you know, words you can give somebody. It goes a long way. Much love to you. Peace. Be wild.